As of now, we have added few XUI tests. We have also added a visual validation test using AppliTools XUI SDK. So in this chapter, we will add a continuous integration to our XUI test so that we can run our XUI test on continuous basis to get some feedback. So before we jump into the uh, continuous integration, let's try to run the XUI test from command line. So if we can run the XUI test from command line, then we can configure them on possibly any continuous integration server. So you may have Jenkins, TeamCity, uh, Xcode server, or any cloud-based CI service, uh, like a Travis CI, Circle CI, never code betrays so you can configure your test on any ci server so we have seen that in our um, uh, app we have a tau scheme you can check this what this scheme is doing so if you can click on the test action so basically it runs the unit test as well as ui test we can disable unit tests or uh, disable ui tests from uh, from the scheme and in order to enable test on continuous integration, we have to make sure that the scheme is shared. So if the scheme is not shared, then your continuous integration server won't see your scheme. Okay, let's go back to the uh, command line and run the command called Xcode build list. So this will basically list the configuration of your uh, project so you can see you have three targets two build configuration and one scheme so that means we have a tau scheme so in order to run ui test from command line using native apple developer tools you need to write uh, some some long command something like this so basically you need to pass the workspace uh, code sign uh, the test so if you run this command so basically it will take some time and at the end of the test uh, at the end of the the compilation and building you will see the test running so this is a one way to run xui test on com from the command line i will cancel it for now another easy way is using tool called fastlane so Fastlane, you can install using gem install uh, Fastlane or if you're using system to be then you probably need to do sudo gem install Fastlane. Fastlane is also available with the homebrew. So if you're using homebrew, then you can install Fastlane with the uh, uh, install Fastlane command. Now, if you want to run it, XUI test from command line using fastlane then the command becomes very easy so we just need to pass our scheme um, and device so let's pass iphone xr simulator because that's what we have uh, open over here and we need to pass it to the fastlane tool called scan so scan is basically tool to uh, execute uh, tests so if you run this command so you can see the fast lane is uh, actually building and testing our app so um, so basically everything now happen happening from the command line without using xcode so basically fast lane will uh, build compile and uh, run our test so you can see fast lane also generates the the reports in uh, HTML and JUnit format, and uh, we can get it into the into that directory. So now you can see that Fastlane is started running our test. Uh, I have added the key API key, so it's also running the and the AppliTools I test. So hopefully the test has been started. This test is started on AppliTools test manager as well. Um, also, uh, test started in a in a simulator as well. So in this way, using Fastlane, we can execute our test uh, very easily. So you can see that all our tests have been passed, no failures. So um, probably 
fast lane has created a directory called test output and within that test output we have uh, html reports as well as the the JUnit reports so um, if you open uh, ghost.html so we can see the the report our test report in, in a, a nice little format so the report has been generated with tool called xcpd um, and also you have options to configure this JUnit reports on any ci servers like a jenkins or team city so with fastlane it becomes very handy to run the test from command line so now we have uh, the setup for fastlane so let's configure our uh, test on any ci service uh, for this demo we will use a uh, uh, travis ci because travis ci offer free macOS images to run our test in the cloud however you can use any ci server let's go through the travis ci and the travis ci has a great tutorial how to get started so basically we just need to sign up with the github um, we need to authorize the project so and after we authorize the project then we just need to add a travis yaml file the travis yaml file we need to tell which script we have to run so so this is my github and this is uh, uh, i have logged into traviscii.org so let's add a our project so let's search for our tau tau so basically we have found our repository and we just need to enable that repository so now the travis ci can see our repository so at the moment there is a uh, no build running for this one but if we add travis dot travis yaml file then the build should be running on this um, so we have some settings as well so we have enabled branch builds and uh, the pull request builds as well so let's go back to our uh, the project and add a file called travis.yaml and in this file what we need to specify is which branch you are to build so which language you are using and which image you are using so basically we have to tell travis that okay use xcode 10.1 image so before install so basically travis launch fresh vm for every build so we need to install fastlane and after fastlane what we need to do is basically we need to add uh, our scheme so scheme is tau and our our device is uh, iphone xr so if we save this and let's i add those files to the github and let's commit edit privacy integration let's push this so now if you go to Travis CI and refresh your page and if you go to the branches then you will see our build has been started on Travis CI so Travis CI usually takes some time to boot the VM and um, job to be queued so wait until a uh, new vm has been launched and uh, get our tests executed on travis ci now our build job has been started on travis ci so you can see that travis ci is doing its stuff so basically it's executing the same command that we have run from our local machine so it will try to run our test so now you can see it is running the test so ice test has been passed and all our tests has been passed on travis ci as well and you can see the you can see the latest latest report in the 
the Amplitude Test Manager. Plus, you can see that uh, all our tests have been passed on Travis CI as well. So, in this way, you can execute your test on uh, Travis CI. You can get benefit of continuous integration server by running the test on every um, every commit or every merge to uh, specific branch or every pull request, so that you can find the bug earlier or get a feedback of your test uh, earlier. Now we have seen that our all the tests have been passed on continuous integration server. However, to run the Apply Tools test, I have done some setups following some privacy CI documentation on Apply Tools. Um, uh, I made some changes to uh, settings uh, and added my Apply Tools key over here and uh, also done some iOS related settings. But if you want to disable the test running on continuous integration server, for example, if you want to disable the, this test, Apply Tools I test on CI server, so we can do that by updating the scheme. So we just need to go to scheme and edit the scheme. Uh, click on the test, and in our UI test, we have the list of the test, and we need to find which test to be enabled or disabled. So at the moment, um, I will disable this test, TAUI test. So this is a test class. I will disable this entire test class, or I can disable uh, individual test method within the, the uh, test class. So I close it. I will commit these changes to GitHub. So let's say disabled ice test CI and if I push it, so the Travis CI, uh, as you can see, the new build has been started. So job received, it's been queued now. And let's wait for the, the build to be executed. So this build will not execute the ICE test, but it will only execute our XUI test. So let's wait for the results um, when Travis CI finished the build. Now um, our build has been started on Travis CI. Um, now you can see the UI test has been started on iPhone XR simulator on Travis. So Travis will first boot up the simulator image and then start executing our uh, UI test. Now we can see that our UI test has started running on Travis CI. Um, so it's finished the BDD test. It's now starting the TAU UI test. And you can see that it is now, it has only executed three tests and it has skipped the dual size test. So Using this technique, if you find any test uh, flaky, or if you want to disable those tests, or um, um, if you want to disable temporarily, temporarily on CI, then you can do that by updating the schemes. So that's it for this chapter. And this will be the last chapter of our TAU course on XCY test. We will have a summary of our course and um, we will provide the, uh, some resources as well as the source code on GitHub. Thanks.